guys, welcome to God Nod, where God may just nod for you. Today, I'm going to be talking about not feeling God. We go through times in our life where we might feel that God's presence around us, and then we go into like slopes of like not feeling He even exists. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today because, well, it's called desolation, and I'm in that desolation right now. You know when you are in desolation, when you start questioning your faith a little bit, and like I know when I'm in desolation, when it's super hard for me to pray, when I just don't feel like going to Mass, when I don't feel like praying my rosary, when I don't feel like doing these spiritual things, or when you feel this like sadness within you, kind of like this hopeless sadness within you. These are all signs of desolation. It's weird because I still hear God, I still have a whole bunch of God nods happening, and I know He exists. I know without a doubt He exists, but I don't feel His existence. So why would God allow us to feel this desolation? Um, okay, so there's three reasons why God allows this desolation. The first one is if you just stop doing these spiritual exercises, if you stop praying or if you pray less or if you stop going to church or um, just stop doing your spiritual exercises, it just makes sense that you'll stop feeling God around you. The second reason is for God to see how much you will praise Him, how much you will love Him, even if you don't feel him even if you don't feel that consolation it's like okay it's kind of like a test but then again it's not like god is trying to test you to figure something out about you because he knows everything but it's more as if like god is trying to show you how much you truly need him and show you how much you truly love him and that you don't just love him for the graces and the feelings that he gives you the third reason why he might allow this is just for us to realize that when we are in this joy and this consolation and this feeling God around us, that it is purely a gift from God, that it's not from our own doing, that it's not from our own works that we feel that way, but it's a pure gift from God and His graces. Many, many, many saints talk about their experiences of desolation. I mean, we all go through them, and the holiest of saints have gone through these huge desolations. In fact, if you look at one of our most recent saints, Mother Teresa, she writes about her desolation, and she went through a period of 40 years of this. Can you imagine going through 40 years of not feeling this consolation of God? And here I might complain about not receiving consolation from God for a month, and here she went through a whole 40 years. So, you know, like, it happens to all of us. Know that while we're in the state of desolation, like, it is an opportunity for us. It's an opportunity for our soul to grow. Our soul grows most in these periods of desolation because we're testing it, we're growing it. God has literally given us those graces even when we don't feel it. This goes into how important it is to know that faith is not a feeling, it is a grace from God. Okay, so like, if we feel like we don't want to pray, that doesn't mean we shouldn't pray. Pray anyway. Just like when you go to Mass and you might not feel God's presence or you might not feel any change within you, but that doesn't mean that you're not receiving God's graces, okay? So faith is not a feeling. So while I'm in this period of desolation, I'm trying to increase my prayer life and bring God into my every moment, right? And so one of the things I've been praying is, Lord, make me holy. And here's my God nod of this video. I was... Um, you know, feeling this sadness and feeling this like so far from God and not feeling Him, right? Well, then I went to this spiritual event and while we were praying, we were praying the Liturgy of the Hours, which is another form of prayer that the church uses. And one of the verses that we prayed was, For those who hunger and thirst for holiness, they shall be satisfied. And I just immediately smiled and could just... You know, like, I knew God was speaking to my heart, like, Casey, hold on, just wait and be patient. Like, we're, we're almost there, just be patient, and you, you will reach holiness, you will reach holiness, just keep on striving. So as you can see, like, God is still talking to me through scripture and through all these different ways, but I'm not feeling him. It's not like I'm on a Jesus high and it's like, whoa, Jesus, or whatever, like, it, that's not me right now in this period, but... I know that God is still there. I know that He's with me even closer through this period of time. And when it comes to praying, it's hard. It's hard 
for us to pray in desolation. Like we just don't feel like it. We don't feel like going to mass. You don't feel like praying, but that doesn't mean you should stop. Do not take a break. This is a test, okay? Keep going, keep praying, and God will bless you immensely. So pray, 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 pray. Increase your prayer life because when when you are praying and you feel like you are talking to no one and you like you feel like, does God even exist? Like, am I just, you know, talking to air? Like, that is when your prayer is almost most powerful because God knows that state that you're in. God knows that you don't feel Him, but He sees that you're still persisting in prayer. And He will bless you because you are obeying Him. And going through this, like, I, I've i been in this state before many times, and I know the outcome of it. I know that there's going to be a time where God is going to pour His consolation, that this desolation is going to be over. And so I know there's a lot of joy and a lot of consolation coming out of this. And so that gives me some hope, right? But I also know that I need to take advantage of this time that I'm in. I need to be present in my moment and try to grow grow my soul and rely on God's grace. All right, advice. Advice on what what do we do in this period of desolation when we don't feel God and we don't feel like praying, what do we do? Okay, if you don't feel like praying, pray more. Increase your prayer life. Bring God into the every moment of your day. When you don't feel him, pray. Every, every moment, okay? Um, and pray for the graces that you need to endure this time. Ask God for the strength um, to get you through this and to strengthen your soul. Like take My last advice for this, this desolation, not feeling God, is offer it up. Okay. What I mean by that is pray that whatever feelings or whatever consolation that God normally gives you, offer that up to some of your loved ones. Like, God, like, can you please give consolation to some of my loved ones so that the feelings and the love that I usually feel from you, can you give that to some of my loved ones? And it's so amazing the power behind that. Just the other day, I had some of my loved ones call me and be like, hey, like, I just had a God nod, like, listen to this. And I'm just like, okay, God, like, if you, if it's your will for me to remain in this state of not feeling you, in this state of desolation, then I will remain in this state of desolation for as long as you want me to. So I just want you guys to know that if you're going through this right now, know that I am praying for you and that we're in this together and to know that there is joy and consolation at the end of this and just to allow God to strengthen your soul in the midst of this sadness or this non-feeling God. Um, and just thank you guys for watching and being part of my God Nod community.